2012. I believe our next reserve cow will be a 2016 that we will not release here for another 10 years from today. Unlike the 14 estate, this 2012 reserve is going to be a very rich one. It is going to have strong hand and be dry. For as you guys continue drinking this wine in the middle, you guys are going to pick up on all the fruit flavor. Bean, cherry, and dark plum is going to be associated with this wine. Bold taste at the beginning, bold finish at the end with the 2012 Reserve. Um, with this guy, since it's so rich, <laughs> you really don't need any food to eat with this. Every time I pour this wine, I always say one thing. I always like to say this is basically a meal and a glass on its own with this 2012 Reserve. You guys see how old it looks already compared to some of the other ones we tried here today. It's going to be another 2012 that's going to hit on every note you would like for reserve cabinet. Now let me know which one you guys enjoy the most. Maybe the 14 or the 2012. Do we have to pick? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick the 2012. No, and the reason why I use a decanter for this one, because anything that's 10 years or older, you pour the wine against the glass, so hopefully it disperses all the sediment. By the time I pour it, hopefully you won't catch any sediment as well. So how much more do you think the 12, 2012 has? Like life in it? Yes. So, good question. For us, our wines will last up to 25 years. Okay. I say 25 years not because our wines are going to go bad, it is actually our corks. Our corks are 100% natural, coming from Portugal, from Portuguese trees. After 25 years, our corks are going to slowly start to deteriorate. Okay. So, you have anything that's holding in 25 years from the Day from Jarvis, make sure you guys are tripping up for that cork because it's more likely already deteriorated. If you guys have a synthetic cork in your fridge or in your cellar, double the life expectancy. 40 to 60 years, you guys, to store those lines if you would like. 